In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a different type of cells. As you probably remember from your previous biology courses, living organisms are composed of structural and functional units called cells. In other words, living things are made up of cells. All living organisms that exist on this planet are divided into two into various groups based on type of cells they are made up of. They are archaea, referred to as prokaryotes, bacteria, also prokaryotes, and eukarya, referred to as eukaryotes. So what are prokaryotic cells? As you learn that bacteria and archaea, they are considered prokaryotic cells. The prokaryotic cells are the ones that lack a membrane-bound nucleus. They lack cell organelles. If you remember, cell organelles are small double membrane-bound structures that perform specific functions. For example, mitochondria that are responsible for synthesis of ATP. Prokaryotes are also about 10 times smaller than eukaryotic cells. All bacteria and archaea are unicellular organisms, meaning they are only composed of one cell. What are some of the things present in a typical prokaryotic cell. So if you look at this image, it's giving you um, a summary of the main structures present in a prokaryotic cell. One of the things that each cell need to have, whether they are prokaryotes or eukaryotes, they need to have some sort of genetic material. And as you learn, the one of the main differences in prokaryotes the genetic material, which is DNA, is not organized into um, well-organized chromosomes or is not bounded by a um, nuclear envelope, but rather is present spread out throughout the cytoplasm. In this region, that is referred to as nucleoid region. The surrounding area is filled with this gelatinous material. If you remember, all cells have that. It's cytoplasm, and as you remember, it's mostly water. Since prokaryotes are independently living cell cells, they must be able to synthesize their proteins, so they do have these structures responsible for making proteins referred to as ribosomes. So they have cytoplasm. They have DNA, they have ribosomes. Now, the cell's environment must be protected in order for a cell to survive. So they do have plasma membrane, which is then further protected by a cell wall. Additional to the plasma membrane and cell wall, most bacteria also come with this an ad additional layer which is referred to as a capsule or a slime layer. Some bacteria are capable of movement in the medium they live with the help of this structure right, which is referred to as flagellum. One is flagellum, the plural is flagella and bacteria are divided into various groups based on the number of flagellum they may have and also the location of the flagella on their body. What is a eukaryotic cell? Like prokaryotic cells, a eukaryotic cell also has a membrane, cell membrane, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, and ribosomes. But a eukaryotic cell is typically much larger than a prokaryotic cell. It has a true nucleus, meaning its DNA is surrounded by a membrane and has other membrane-bound organelles that allow for compartmentalization of functions within the cell. 
Your eukaryotic cells tend to be 10 to 100 times the size of a prokaryotic cell, so they are much larger. They could be unicellular or multicellular. The example of unicellular organisms are several unicellular fungi, algae, and most organisms that you see around you are multicellular. Some examples are helminths. Helminths include, if you remember, if you ever heard of something called parasitic worms, they belong to this group. All the animals that you possibly see in living any type of environment, fungi, algae, plants, these are all composed of eukaryotic cells. So let's quickly review the um, uh, structures present in a eukaryotic cell. Now, if you compare this to what you saw earlier about bacterial cell, this seems to be much more compl complex structure, which is exactly the case. So main difference between prokaryote and a eukaryotic cell is this, the nucleus. This structure that you see in the center, um, surrounded by this membrane called the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane, comes with various holes or pores in the membrane, which are extremely helpful when it comes to transporting the RNA molecule into and out of this nucleus. But the purp main purpose of the nucleus is to hold the genetic material, the chromatin. chromatin. The genetic material DNA of the cell is present in this area. Most nuclei come with one or two uh, uh, structures that appear to ra be rounded in appearance when observed under the microscope. These are referred to as nucleoli if it is more than one and nucleolus if it's just one. So, nucleus is the one of the main difference between a prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cell. Other structures that are membrane bound um, that differentiate prokaryote from eukaryote are these. Golgi vesicle, Golgi apparatus responsible for uh, processing and packaging of proteins. Ribosomes are present in both. The other membrane bound organelle is the endoplasmic reticulum which comes in two forms as rough and smooth. This distinction is based on the presence or absence of ribosomes on the outer membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. If it has ribosomes, it's called rough. If it doesn't have ribosome, it's called smooth. Eukaryotic cells also come with actin filaments and various other type of microtubules that are present throughout the environment of the cell responsible for helping maintaining the shape and um, also to help move things along within the environment of the cells. Mitochondria, another extremely important membrane-bound organelle responsible for synthesizing ATP, the energy molecule, exists in eukaryotic cell but is absent from prokaryotic cells. The eukaryotic cell also comes with structures that are peroxisomes, lysosomes, um, which have very important functions to be performed. We will look at the detail of those later. And also the structure that you see is only present in this eukaryotic cells is called the centrio centrosome that comes with two centrioles. They have a unique role in the process of cell division. So this was your introduction to main differences between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotic cells.